Question 20. Now, you've got to spot the topic here because we've got angles involved here and lengths. You've got to appreciate this is Sokotoa. And then be, uh, look at the front of the paper and just remind yourself of the various ratios for sin, cos, and tan. So, let's go through our process. So, picture yourself sitting on the angle that's given and label up your side. So, well, that side is opposite me. That is the hypotenuse, that's the long slanty one opposite the right angle. And this side here is adjacent to me. Adjacent means next to me. Now you then go and circle the two that either you know the length, well I know that's 14.9, or it's the length you need to work out, and I'm being asked to work out the length AC, so that's why I've circled the hypotenuse. So the two that are circled are adjacent and hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse, so uh, therefore we're going to be using cosine. So, co so that's my chosen ratio is cosine. So cosine angle is always the angle after your chosen ratio equals my adjacent side of 14.9 divided by my hypotenuse side, which I don't know, that's the length AC. Now I need to get AC on my own. This is quite complicated. It's quite nasty when it's this way around where the bit that you need to know is on the bottom. So I'm first of all to undo this dividing by AC, I'm going to multiply by AC. Give me this. And then to get AC on its own, I need to undo this multiplying by cos 22 by dividing by cos 22. So I'm left with AC being 14.9 divided by cos 22. Putting that into my calculator, I get 16.07 dot dot dot. And to three significant figures, to three digits, that's 16.1.